الحمد لله الذي أكرم بالإسراء والمعراج خاتم النبيين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدًا عبد الله ورسوله رفعه ربه إلى سدرة المنتهى وأوحى إليه ما أوحى فاللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين أما بعد يقول الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه العزيز بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الذي أسرى بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام إلى المسجد الأقصى الذي باركنا حوله إلى المسجد الأقصى الذي باركنا حوله لنريه من آياتنا إنه هو السميع البصير وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أتيت ليلة أسري بي على آدم فسلمت عليه فقال مرحبا بالابن الصالح والنبي الصالح إخواني في الله وحي وعد أو كسب سن ليلة ذان قيمة بدن علماء ينور دم يسي أنا وصل قابين دون إن شاء الله ما دام لي رأفك قلاد كلمة كده حديث ذان عد البوي كده ركسنت هاي بل إن إيش حسوس إنه أو حال دون يا جيل كمعنى سوق هري الو تعليمي أفصمالي ومرك مبدنان دون إن شاء الله تبارك وتعالى ما دام أن وبدن دون ردن كمعنى أفك قال إن شاء الله تبارك وتعالى حديث كهذا إنه كب الله بني وحير النبي كان عليه الصلاة والسلام أتيت ليلة أسري بي على آدم حبينك لا يدل مي وحانو تغير النبي الله آدم عليه وعلى نبينا الصلاة والسلام فسلمت عليه وأن سلام أبونا آدم فقال وحير النبي الله آدم مرحبا بالابن الصالح والنبي الصالح صدوين يا مرحبين يا كالجعيلة يا أسقنا ذي ابني ونكسن ويل ونكسن يا نبي ونكسن حالة هاي إن شاء الله تبارك وتعالى I'll go straight forward and mine will be very concise and short as we all know the reason we gather tonight is to teach our little generation the generation that are coming the importance of this night. What is this event? Well, we first start with praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All praise be to Allah, the Lord and the cherisher of the worlds. He who honored the final of his prophecies with Isra, the night of journey, and Miraj, heavenly ascent. We also pay witness that there is no deity worthy, worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We bear witness that our master, our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is a servant and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa taala. His Lord elevated him to the Sitratul Muntaha. The prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was elevated during this night to Sitratul Muntaha. Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "In the Sitratul Muntaha, in the Hajjatul Ma'wa, idh yaghsha Sitrat ma yaghsha." ما زاغ البصر وما ضغى. So that sitra tul muntaha is a low tree of the utmost boundary. And Allah subhanahu wa taala that night He revealed to His prophet, His servant, what He revealed. Because Allah subhanahu wa taala says, فأوحى إلى عبده فأوحى إلى عبده ما أوحى ما كذب الفؤاد ما رأى. Allah revealed. Something that we don't know, something that we cannot measure on our knowledge. So he revealed to his servants what he revealed. Fauha ila abdihi ma auha. Oh Allah subhanahu wa taala, send blessings, salutations, and benedictions on our Prophet, on our Master Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his family, his companions, and those whom those who follow them. So the night. And the heavenly journey of Isra wal Mi'raj was indeed a great miracle. It was a great miracle that no one can forget. Through which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala most high honored his prophet 
May Allah peace and blessings be upon him and gathered him with his fellow brothers from among the honorable prophets. The prophet met during this night with the other prophets that was ahead of him. We will mention their names in sequence, inshallah. He met with Prophet Yusuf. He also met with Prophet Abraham. He also met with Jesus. He also met with Prophet Moses. He met with uh, Prophet Isa also. So this night has a great memory in the hearts of the Muslim people. And every heaven, every sama, the Prophet Sallallahu hastened, he rushed to greet the prophets. He hastened to greet with a, with a greeting of peace. And they turn, return his greetings with a greeting of their own and with honor and respect. Every prophet said, Marhaban bil ibn Salih wa nabiyya Salih. So they, they welcomed yeah, to the highest extent. Our prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, said, when you talking about this night, on the night of which I was taken to the night journey, I came to Adam. The Prophet ﷺ first saw Adam in the first heaven, in the first sama. I came to Adam, I greeted him with peace and replied, welcome. O pious son and pious prophet, thereafter the Prophet ﷺ, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, met with Isa, he met with Prophet Jesus. Isa ibn Maryam. With Gala Isa ibn Maryam, Ya Bani Israel, Inni Rasulullah ilaykum. So he met, the second prophet that he met was, was Jesus, Prophet Isa. Next he met with Prophet Yusuf, alayhi salam. That's Prophet Joseph. He also met with Prophet Idris. Idris. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam also met with Harun, Prophet Harun. And Prophet Moses. So, may all of them, Allah's peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, be upon them. They greeted the, them with the greeting of peace. And each one of the prophets welcomed the Prophet. This hadith is narrated by Ibn Khuzayma. So, what are some of the lessons that we're going to learn from this night? What is the importance? What is the most concrete lesson that we can learn from this, from this night after we leave here? Well, Isra wal Miraj is the most notable event in Islamic religious. It's one of the most notable events in Islamic religious history in which Isra wal Miraj are two chapters. There are two chapters of the night. The journey that take, the Prophet Sallallahu was taken that took place during Isra and Mi'raj explained in brief in the Quran. It was explained in the Quran. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, Subhanal Ladi Asra bi Abdihi, Laylam min al Masjid al Harami, il al Masjid al Aqsa, Ladi Barakna Haula, Linuria hu min ayatina, inna hu was Samir, was Samir al Basir. So the story of Isra wal Mi'raj is a story that we need to teach our wives, our kids, our offspring, our neighbors, our relatives and everyone who is interested in this religion. So what was Isra? The question is, what was Isra? Because Isra wal Mi'raj, we see two words here. In Isra, the first part of the night, Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, his journey began when he was in the great mosque in Mecca. The first part of the journey started in Mecca, where Angel Jibril came to him and brought brak. He brought a brak because it was one of the means of transportation that the angels, the, the, the prophets used to write, used to use. So Angel Jibril brought a brak for the Prophet ﷺ. What is brak? We need to know what brak is. Brak is a creature in Islamic tradition said to be a transportation for the prophets. It was a trust, not only Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but it was a transportation to the other prophets prior to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam traveled to Al-Aqsa. Min al-Masjid al-Haram ila al-Masjid al 
إلى المسجد الأقصى الذي باركنا حوله. Our Prophet may may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him traveled from Al Aqsa Masjid Al Aqsa in Burak with within a second. These days we know if we travel from America to Africa, it might take more than 21 hours. But imagine, think one minute, okay? Take a break and think a journey to the heavens, to the Samawat, okay? That we are told. The Burak that he used the Prophet as transportation had a speed that I can imagine, that no one can imagine. Yeah, it was very fast. It was within a second. Even the hadith of the Prophet narrated is where he was sleeping, you know, his, his shoulder on, the, on where he was sleeping was still warm when he returned from that journey. Yeah, it was still warm. So it was, it was something that happened within a second, within, you know, minutes, few minutes, okay? Yeah, it was a miracle. It is not something that, that we can put in our imagination. Yeah. It was something beyond, it's something beyond our knowledge. So the Prophet Sallallahu traveled to Al-Aqsa, Al Masjid Al-Aqsa in Burak within a second, Anas bin Malik. Anas bin Malik was the khadim of the Prophet ﷺ for 10 good years. Anas bin Malik narrated the angel Jibreel offered Prophet Muhammad ﷺ a glass of milk and a glass of wine. Prophet, angel Jibreel brought two glasses to the Prophet ﷺ, a glass of milk and a glass of what? A glass of wine. Setting eyes on what he will choose. He's now, the Prophet now is being tested by angel Jibreel. This is a test to see what glass he will choose. So Angel Gabriel brought a glass of milk and a glass of wine in order to test the Prophet ﷺ. So think what happened. The Prophet ﷺ was guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What did he choose? This is what he chose. The Prophet said, when, when Angel Jibreel brought a glass of milk and a glass of wine, the Prophet drank the milk, which resulted in passing the special test. Now he, he was graded. See now, he has passed the test. He chose the glass of milk rather than the glass of wine. So he passed the test, he passed the examination with a, with a nice grade. As he chose the ring that was healthy and pure, for him rather than one that is prohibited on earth. Because the wine is prohibited. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when he's talking about the wine and khamri. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. Inna mal khamru wal maysiru wal ansabu wal azlamu. Rijzum min amal shaytani. Fajtanibuhu. La'allakum tuflihun. So it is forbidden. It is forbidden in Islamic religions. To drink wine. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam chose to drink the glass of the milk. So next, Sidratul Muntaha. What is Sidratul Muntaha? We also need to learn what Sidratul Muntaha is. Because in the Quran it was mentioned, in the Sidratul Muntaha, in the Jannatul Ma'wa, in the Yagsha Sidrata Ma Yagsha, Ma Zagal Basaru Wa Madaka. What is Sidratul Muntaha? That's what we need to understand. Sidratul Muntaha, it is a huge citra tree. The name of the tree is citra. It is at the end of the seven heavens. At the end of the seven heavens. So that is the conclusion of the journey. Where the journey almost ended. Citra is a, is a name of a tree. As well as the end of the seven heavens. Seven heavens. According to Islamic beliefs, this is the boundary that no one ever passed except Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. No one from down passed the Sitra Muntaha, that tree. Okay, no one crossed, and no one that was up above that tree did not descend down, except who? Except Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So it was a boundary. It was a line. It was a boundary because. Jibril backed up, backed, he went back, okay? So the Prophet Sallallahu asked, is this a place that a friend leaves his friend? 
And he said, وَمَا مِنَّا إِلَّا لَهُ وَمَا مِنَّا إِلَّا لَهُ مَقَامُ مَعْلُومُ Okay? Each and every angel has a line. Each and every prophet has a boundary that he cannot cross. So this is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Muslims, Muslim believers were to enroll in 50 times a day. The prayers that we pray today, brothers and sisters, were 50 prayers. So that when Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam returned, he met with Prophet Moses, alayhi wa ala nabiyyina salatu wa salam. So what happened? The Prophet returned from where he was you know, communicating with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But fortunately, he met with Prophet Moses. The Prophet accepted the offer, but as, as he was going back to the earth, as he was returning, he met with Prophet Moses, Prophet Musa, who advised that 50 prayers were too much for his people. Prophet Moses urged the Prophet and encouraged that 50 prayers that your ummah, your people, are unable to pray 50 daily prayers in one day, in a day, in 24 hours period. So what happened next? Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, went back. He went back to Allah and requested to reduce the 50 prayers as it was too much. What will happen if the Prophet ﷺ will not meet with Prophet Isa, Prophet Moses, and the prayer numbers were not reduced. It will be a burden. It will, it will be a very hard time. Okay? So the Prophet ﷺ, Prophet Moses, told the Prophet to go back and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reduce the number of the prayers. Allah reduced the five prayers. So when we subtract five from 50, it gives us what? 45. So Allah reduced the five prayers and made it 45 prayers. 45, can you imagine? 45 prayers in a day. But according to Prophet Moses, according to Prophet Musa, alayhi wa ala nabiyyina, salatu wa salam, it was still too much. 45 is still too much. We are unable to pray five daily prayers now. Some of us are not attending the mosque due to their own business or due to some other you know, business or a work schedule. So the Prophet was left with 45 prayers. But according to the Prophet Musa, that was too much still. So Prophet Musa, he, he told the Prophet to go back again, again. So Prophet went back. He went back and forth nine times, nine trips. Yeah, he went. So when you divide 50 into 10, it gives us what? Huh? Five, 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 right? So. He went back nine trips, nine times, okay, to the communication of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, requesting and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reduce the number of the prayers. So finally, finally the number of the prayer was reduced to five times in a day. Five times a day. Prophet Moses continued to ask the reduction in numbers still. When the Prophet came back and he said, I get five prayers now, he still urged, he still encouraged Prophet Muhammad to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reduce these five numbers, these five prayers. But you know what happened? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said that he was too guilt riding. Moreover, he is grateful for five daily prayers. He said, I can't return anymore. I can't return anymore. That shows how Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was very respectful. So the prayers were reduced to a five, five daily prayers. That's what we pray right now. That's what we pray every 24 hours. We only pray five daily prayers, but the reward we get is more than that. We get five multiplied by 10, which 50. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gives us the reward of, 10, of 50 prayers. Each prayer is equivalent to 10 prayers. That's the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's one of the na'imas, it's one of the points of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we need to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ 
ولا إن كفرت منا عذاب إلا شديد. So what is mi'raj? The other question that we need to understand is what is mi'raj? Well, mi'raj is what we're doing right now, the celebration that we're doing right now, the 27th of every Rajab month in Islamic calendar. It is celebrated on the 27th of Rajab. Mi'raj is a Muslim holiday in some of the countries back home because they conduct this, they, they conduct this event and people gather so school is might be off for some countries. It's also known as Laylat al Mi'raj. Laylat al Mi'raj. It is recognized as a day when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ascended to all seven states of heavens. It is believed that this was, this was the day when an, when an angel feasted the Prophet, Angel Jibril feasted the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When the chest of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was clean. It was open and purified with Zamzam water. The chest of the Prophet وسلم, was open and purified with Zamzam water. Later, his heart was filled with leaves. The Prophet's heart was, was filled was, with, with, with leaves and Iman. So, Isra wal Mi'raj, there are so many hadiths from, from the, that was not rated from the Prophet. That is regarding with this event, Isra wal Mi'raj. A, a good example is the hadith of Anas bin Malik, the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud, and also the hadith of Abu Huraira. Anh. Anas bin Malik reported 50 prayers were obligated upon the Prophet, وسلم, may peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, when he was taken on, his, on this night of journey. Then it was reduced until it was set at five until the prayers were said to a number of five. An announcement was made. Oh Muhammad, my word is never changed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, when he obligated five, pray, five daily prayers, he said after that, my, my word is never changed. So this is, these five prayers will be counted as 50. Yeah, in the hadith of Anas ibn Malik. Ibn Mas'ud also was one of the great sahabas. He reported from the Prophet وسلم, the Messenger of Allah, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, I met Abraham. The Prophet وسلم, as we mentioned earlier, he met with Abraham, Prophet Abraham, Prophet Ibrahim. Salala 
تبت النقول رضا تاجر النو في ذي نتعليمي النبي ونتاكلي تصنع هذا التر يا قيامه تاجك النقل تجرباتاي تاجك النقل تجرباتاي الله عليك سبحان النبي سيدنا يا الصفقة هذيك كوحيك سيدنا سميه سن نبي قال الناس فين كرينو سيرتي ابه يا صورة ادمله سيدك مخلوق لا لا سن انكرينو سبحانه وذا انكو سلام هينا يا سبحانه وذا انكو سلام هينا يا اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا يا الصفقة هيك كوحيك يا سيدنا الله جعل كاغا او جيف بايا ونعا جاهاغا شرفت ليا هرجوك سدا كل جوغا اون مرنا كابا جسننا جوهرتا ذا ديتنا يا كجل بعي جوهرتا ذا ديتنا يا كجل بعي الله عليك سبحانه ونبيه صلى الله عليك سبحانه ونبيه سيدنا يا سبحانه ونبيه سيدنا يا سبحانه ونبيه حقك عدي حما الربايو حبيبكي الله حضر ذي إلى تجايو حبيك سنا بيك لجو حروب أيو حسن يا حسين حرم ذو ذي باتاي حسن يا حسين حرم ذو ذي باتاي سلام عليك سبحان النبي سلام عليك سبحان النبي سيدنا يا سبحانك وحيك خلقي قد ما نذيك أو خير بدنا ختم بعض التهايا بيضا خواصها خالق إله وكل خضاب تمايا خصنا دي الله نور خالصاتي خصنا دي الله نور خالصاتي سلام عليك سبحان النبي سلام دیران هنوم مال این دروف تیدا تنبیگان کلی دل میگی گویانو لکین دعوان های دنیا رگین دریال مسکین کودن شک تیبانای دریال مسکین کودن شک تیبانای سلام علیک سبحان و نبی او سلام علیک سبحان و نبی او سيدنا يا سبحانك كوحيك سيدنا يا سبحانك كوحيك الله دائما وإله ودهش كنا قاضو طب إله النصار دربتك يا ملديرو سيدة طنب كنا اللالي أما قنتال دولو دك دك نوغو كان نبيك أقد إغدالاه دك دك نوغو وكان بك أقد إغدالاه سلام الله عليك سبحان النبي سلام الله عليك سبحان النبي سيدنا يا سبحانك وحيك سيدنا يا سبحانك وحيك الله دك مدينة بندنا يا إن أنت جاءوا منا هاي استودي نار دولاريو لعجه 
ninki a tsetong tan wa dara isaro re he ne wo tege سبحانی <تصفيق> سيدنا يا سفغادي اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك عليه Sisters, we will summarize in you two shortage of time, inshallah. I will add the, the next three hadiths, inshallah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. We started with the hadith of Anas bin Malik, radiallahu anhu. The 50 prayers were obligated upon the Prophet وسلم, and later Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reduced to five. Ibn Mas'ud also reported the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, During the night of Jani, I met with Prophet Ibrahim, Prophet Abraham, on the night of ascension, and he said, O oh Muhammad, greet your nation with peace for me. So he greeted us that night. Prophet Ibrahim sent a greetings to the Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu Tell them, he also sent a message. Tell them paradise has pure soil and delicious water that is a level of blame and it is, blame, it is blind to grow with the declaration of glory of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the praise of Allah, the oneness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the greatness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. He said, Prophet Ibrahim said in his message during that night, the paradise has pure soil. The paradise that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every we make a, a dua for it has a pure soil and delicious water. He also said the level of this of the paradise, the level of the Jannah, it's plain. The, and it is plants, the plants in it, the plants in the paradise grow with declarations of the glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported it. On the night of the session, on the night of the journey, our Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was presented with two vessels. He was presented with two vessels, one full of wine and the other full of milk. The Prophet looked at them both, he looked at both vessels, at both containers, and he chose the vessel of full of milk. The angel Jibril upon him be said, All praise is due to Allah who has guided you to that which is natural, to that which is not prohibited, to that which is pure, that's the milk. For had you select the wine, your nation, and you, your nation will have been led straight. If the Prophet ﷺ will choose the wine, his nation, his ummah, will, will, will have been ended up in straight. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided him to choose the vessel of the milk. Anas bin Malik also reported, the messenger of Allah, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, I busted by Moses. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that night, busted by Moses, Prophet Musa. My, I passed by Moses, my night of journey near the Red Mount. He was brain in his grave. Prophet Moses was brain in his grave. So you might be amazed, you might be wondering with how come that, that someone is praying in the grave? Well, that's so easy, that's very easy. The life is different from ours. Yeah, they live in a, in a life called Hayatul Barzakh. That's a different life. Yeah, so he saw Prophet Moses praying in his grave. Also Malik, Malik ibn Sasa reported, the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, told them, about this night of journey, saying we ascended until he reached the second heaven, 
where Jibril, Angel Jibril asked for the gate to open, every heaven, every summer, they requested it to be open because there is a security. Yeah, there's an angel in charge of that heaven. So they asked it to open, but he was said, who is it? Who is knocking the door? Angel Jibril said, I am Jibril. It was said, who is with you? So they, they want to verify. Yeah, they want to verify who is with him. In this dunya, a security man, man on a gate will ask you who you are, your name. Yeah, what is your aim of coming here? Same as that. The angel asked, who is with you? We know you are Jibril. Because Jibril is well known in the heavens. He's an angel, okay? He was a teacher of the Prophet Sallallahu So he was very familiar to them. Yeah. He was asking, who is with you? Angel Jibril said, it is Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. It was said, has he, been, has he been called? Has he been permitted? Has he been allowed to come here? Jibril said, yes. When he, we reached beyond the second heaven, the prophet said, I saw Prophet Harun and Jesus, who were cousins. They were cousins, Prophet Harun and, and Jesus. When he said in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَخِي هَارُونُ هُوَ أَفْصَحُ مِنِّي لِسَانَ فَأَرْسِلْهُ مَعِيرِدَ أَنْ يُصَدِّقْنِي إِنِّي أَخَافُ أَنْ يُكَذِّبُونَ قَالَ سَنَشُدُّ عَضُدَّكَ بِأَخِيكَ وَنَجْعَلُ لَكُمَا سُلْطَانَ So Jibril said, we saw the cousins, that's Prophet Harun and Jesus. So greet them. He's, he, he's directing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, instructing the Prophet to greet them, to greet them. The prophets. The prophet said, I greeted them with peace. And they returned my greeting. They returned the greeting of the prophet saying, Welcome, O righteous brother, righteous prophet. So each and every prophet, each and every prophet that the Prophet made during that night, welcome it to the highest level. To the highest level. You've seen how people welcome the, you know, like people with dignitaries on this earth. They put a red carpet, right? That's how they welcome the presidents, you know, those people in the pol politics, okay? But that night, I'm just giving you an example, okay? That night was greater than this. Yeah, it is ju I'm just, we are, also, we are only making closer, you know, to the understanding. But that was a huge thing that we cannot express in our, in our logic. So Isra, Isra wal Mi'raj is one of the key events in the religious history, in the religious of Islam. Laylatul Mi'raj is an abundant night for Muslims around the world. The meaning, we have mentioned the meaning of Isra wal Mi'raj. We have mentioned what the Prophet وسلم, that he made with all the prophets during that night. So in the history of Islam, it refers to the journey of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, from the great mosque of Mecca to Al-Aqsa, the other great mosque, Al-Aqsa, in Jerusalem. Al-Aqsa is in Jerusalem and the other masjid in, is in Mecca, within a second, with his soul and body. Yeah. So what is the meaning of the word Mi'raj? The word is an Arabic word. The word Mi'raj is an Arabic word which means a ladder. A ladder that we claim, right? Yeah. It, because it's claiming every heaven, okay? Every summer. So that is a word driven from the meaning of ladder. Its religious significance comes from the holy journey of the Prophet وسلم, to the seven states of heaven along with Angel Jibril وسلم. So when is it celebrated? It is celebrated the 27th of Rajab of the Islamic calendar. The aim and the motive, the goal of this event is to educate and encourage the youth especially to learn the importance of this night. Because the prayers that we pray have been obligated and the prayer is the second pillar of Islam. It's the first thing that the person will be questioned during the day of judgment. So, brothers and sisters, I will summarize in the, with the hadith, but I want to add one or two questions. The question is, we cannot understand this hadith, you know, or the event and what everything that the event pertains without learning our religion. Yeah. We need to spend time to learn our religion in order to dig deeper what this event concern is all about and the other events. 
we cannot summarize in one night or you know hours and seconds or minutes now. We need to understand our religion, we need to learn our religion, spend time and understand the main events of the of, of this religion. Inshallah, we can read the Kalimah of Kusabsan. Burshida Ma'anaha wa Haga wa Ayyagalinta Kalimah of Kusabsan. We can read the Hadith Intas Ma'anaha. I know good boss. We can read the Hadith of Kusabsan. We can read the Hadith of Kusabsan. We can read the Hadith of Kusabsan. Motivation. We can read the Hadith of Kusabsan. 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 وحن دونا يا إني معناها سؤال شن لجستنا سؤال شن ذكرنا إني سؤال تجان أي كذي جوابا I'll ask you two questions and anyone who answers those two questions I'll give him something inshallah I have a prize for those who are going with me throughout this lecture okay we need we need people to come here inshallah three or if if I'm not I'm not gonna ask the question until you come here Uh, those are the ones who are listening my my lecture very carefully. Or oh, you want me to say the question and then you guess the answer? <laughs> okay. The question is, who accompanied the Prophet sallallahu Who was with the Prophet sallallahu during that night? Who was instructing him? Who was the famous angel that was mentioned in this khutbah? Aye. Magadi. يا يحيى ميا هاي سوست اكل طاق اي شخص سيدي يحيى وي نيد تو خروا دي جاب تنوشك اه انجل جبريل واز ويز ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم رايت اوكي ما شاء الله سو اي جات سمثينج فور يو بس ميك شور يو هايد ات اوكي اه ذاتس فور يو اوكي ذا سكند كويشن از We have mentioned this journey was a very important journey in the history of Islam. So the other question is, when the prayers were obligated, when the prayers were obligated, there were 50, and it was reduced to a number of five. Who was the Prophet ﷺ who encouraged and urged Prophet Muhammad to ask Allah to reduce the number of the prayers? You know the answer? Huh? Come on, come here. Uh huh. Who was that prophet? Who was the prophet who told Prophet Muhammad, "Go back to Allah, ask to reduce the number of the prayer." Prophet Isa, you got one more chance. Or oh, you want me give you multiple choice? Uh huh. Was it Prophet Isa or Prophet Moses? Moses, very good. Mashallah. Ah yeah, Mashallah. No, no, yeah. آه، أوكي، ده سيوس، أوكي. أحبابي في الله، أنت هيكوس وقتي مينا، إن شاء الله هو وعيقل أنت وحيكوس أب سنتها هاي، ضد أحباب تكمي ده أو حفلة ده الإيمان لها أو أقرب أقضي حنون أما هرج بدرتي أي جرا، إن شاء الله ولا دعين دونا، هدوا يلا دعين دونا، لكن وعنسكوب ورينا هنا إن شاء الله هو إن آن معناها كده ده لنا وحيابها سدا عفماتك معناها كده هن وعيقل أنت علماء سي سوجيدين وحادو صعدا هرج بكا يو وحيالها لو يقانو. كوفيد 19 كحتى وسكجرا مركزاتكم حالو بيرجلنا يا برشدة إن يكدك تونا ذان وحيالها صونا ذا فضة يكود ذا لان سدا يا علماء سوجي ذي إن شاء الله وحيابها وكوفا فن وانقرنا إن شاء الله وحنون كان هراء يناس ومر يامين بدنا نقمد وكل عاي أما أحباب تينا أما قرابتنا أوجير يد ثوب كيسة سانوكنا وحكمي ذا قندر درن وحكمي ذا قفا وحكمي ذا قفكي ونفت كودكتا قفكي ودالا كمي ذا وحفتيك لا يقانو قفكي ومعناها دلنك كتة كمي ذا على ماذا هذه أسكو أرك تعلم ماذا بحيسوج جيدنا يان إنه قفك إسبتال كأما جوابي داود أو بغضه سو معناها داود أو سهلا مسلمين تكلم معناها أو سنو قاتين حنون كي ضد أو حفلت الإيمان لها أو حنون كدرتي سيهر جبك أو حنو سيجرا إن شاء الله وأنود عندنا مركا أن أن تحضر كسمان إن شاء الله محي الحديث النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام وحنو بورنا يسأينا تحضرنه آه هذه واحد عن أما حنون ودعاء أما كوفيد 19 كأما كوليرا ما واحد لم يدعاء الله نجاه إن معناها تحضر كل بضيو أنا دافد الوجود ذا إذا دين تين أي نفر يسي أنا هرب معناها أنا دافد أنا وجود ذا النبو إيمان كبر كيس أي هيد أنت أي أن معناها كوسو كوبي إن شاء الله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.
مورتي سوي فغي دود غونو رسول كاي إرادة كل كاي كتم دين اللابورا إلهي لدون أيبا آمين كبير أيو ولو العزم غي كشي انشار وناك سانو إهلو سماها دربا غي سيسو كان أيو أبشر أي سبا ليري نورباكو أصيبا إيه أوركات كو سيدا مختار أيام بد نداد إيه كل كي أبيا من بلاها ليس كو سيدا أوركا إيه أو ربيع الأول نعي لبيا تبنا دا إيه أول هر مال انتنا أي اثنين أها تا إيه يورد الشي حبيب كأو إفكيرنا لكينا إيه ودقوم با سموينك يو أرلا دا بقادا إيه إلهي لا يو أمن حرم ديسا إيه ورقوتا الله دا قبني يورنا قبح يونك إيه إلهي لا يو أمن حرم ديسا إيه إلهي لا موسیقی أقون أذبو لها إيو أذب في عانه حليمة سعدية ليري أبي ذمي ويلك أو إيانا ويقاد دايو إنكر كمكانينه إنتا يا يرقاد داي باي ركتي ذي لأد داي مركي إن يرهي سيبي أمورتي ليعب داي أديكي قرنا دمان با دراري إذا إلكيو أقل كا أفتيم تشري إليس كسديسيه إلهي إلهي أو أمن حرم ديسه وركوت الله دا قبني يونا قبح يونا جاي إلهي إله الله أمن حرم ديسه أرجوك لا تقبلني أنا قبيحي الله أرجوك لا تقبلني أنا أمين برقنا إسقال لشير الرير كأبد كيسيه ملائك الله صادرا دل عي أورك أه إذا البعرور تبا أن فرير لي أبتاه أنا شاقي دتكي وحيم محمد أصيبا قل كي لا صور دل ليس سوء اكتاقا إساقو أن أوينو أن وحبا إردوبين أما أردنا أن لحين أستان لك جاحا أما أنا أكل كي أركان بيلا مكاقين إلهي إلهي يو أمن حرم ديسا ورقو تألا دا قبني يو نقب إحيون كاي إلهي أمن حرم ديسا إلهي يو أمن حرم ديسا ورقو تألا دا قبني يو نقب إحيون أرجوك لا تقبلني أنا قبيحي أمورتي سوي فقي دود قرا ورسول كاي يوم كان آخر جوجنا أون كان ليسو كاني ليسكو أشكتين خلقي ووجهك إلهي يدور لقا ويهون ليس أجي كريني نبا الرنكيسيون إن يرنا لا دافين أقرس كتاب لا أرن أن وحلا إلا وين 
إح إيا سياسة إيو إتالا اللوايا إي أي أرجع حان خلقكو أيان تدم تدا إي مركو أرنسان نقضى حالكونا أتكادا إي أولو العزم الله تقيا إذا المرسلين تي إذا المرسلين تكلن من بقي مشاك تي يا بل هذا يا من جهدي سأو حبيبك وحال أرن أفضل أذيعه إمامنا أذاه أنك أغفي عنه نوج أشكتو خلق وجه إلهي وأقبل يا الله سؤاش أدقانه إلهي إلهي ومن حرمتي وركوت الذي قبلي نقبح ينقاي إلهي ومن حرمتي يا حبيب العالمين إلهي ومن حرمتي ورقوت الذي قبلي نقبح ينقاي النبي سلام عليك يا الرسول سلام عليك نور المكة والمدينة سلام عليك يا الرسول سلام عليك نور المكة والمدينة النبي سلام عليك يا الرسول سلام عليك نور المكة والمدينة عند لما كان ضامع رجائي فيك أحمد نور لماك ولمذينا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك نور لماك ولمذينا كفل حبيبي ذخرنا عين لك مالك نزونا نور لماك ولمذينا يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك نور لماك والنصرة اليومنا ملاذ الخلق أحمد نور لمكة والمدينة نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك نور لمكة والمدينة أغثني يا ممجد باسمك محمد نور لمكة والمدينة نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك نور لمكة أنا أويس أحمد بحبك مقلد نور لماك والمدينة نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك نور لماك والمدينة صلوا على نبينا محمد حبيبنا نور لماك والمدينة نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك شمس السماء نورنا رسولنا محمد نور لماك والمدينة نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك نور لماك والمدينة نور لماك والمدينة نور لماك اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك عليه